Joining us now are the team members and founders of Kids World 2. They are teachers uh, with an artistic way about them. And joining us are Gabriella, Kimberly, and Stephanie. Hello to the three of you. How are you? Hi, good. 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 Thank, Thank you. you. I love mother-daughter teams. This is a mother-daughter team, right, yes. Gabriella? Yes. So in 1998, how did Kids World begin? How did you decide to embark on this journey? Um, I began by um, having young children myself, and um, I thought I can uh, I can have a job so I can direct my job and my time for my kids and doing my business as well. That's how I, the whole thing began. And did you have like a few neighborhood children like join in the fun? Yes, or, like, at the beginning the I had days? I had uh, neighborhood children join in, and then after that. Um, a lot of people um, find out through word of mouth. And then a lot of people call me. I started working with the neighborhood, with the next uh, neighborhood. And, and so far, the next were um, next to me, there were three neighborhoods all together. The Hills, Comac, and uh, Northport. And actually, uh, Babylon came in as well. That's so exciting. It was. It so, was exciting. so growing up with that environment, how did that impact your life? We'll go with you first, Kimberly. Well, uh, I remember I would just go help out after school and after class. And um, I learned a lot just being with kids and how important it is to nurture children. And at a young age, they're away from their parents for the first time. So um, I really enjoyed helping out. It was a, a family thing that we did. but. It was also just good for ourselves. I learned a lot and learned a lot about, now I'm a nurse, so I just care for people, so that helped me too. And now I'm a mom, so it was a good foundation that I had and we just all worked well together. I love that. And how about you, Stephanie? Tell us about your experience and why Kids World 2 means so much to you, collectively as a family and individually. Uh, so um, going back to what Kimberly had said, we had a great time as kids working with our mom and watching her play with the other children and making a difference in so many families. And uh, it was just an exciting business to be a part of as, as a whole family. And uh, when I had my daughter was when I decided that it was something I wanted to take over and I wanted to make a difference in her life. It must be so satisfying for you, Gabriella to know that you you know, have been such a good role model. I'm sure some of the students possibly have their second generation. Do you have former students now Absolutely. that have children that bring Form them to you for yes, learning? Yes, I do have former students that, that keep in touch with me. The parents and the students, right now they're college grads, they go on with their own lives, uh, being professional, and they do keep in touch with me. Yeah. It's so exciting. Now, how is yeah. this learning environment set up? Is there, are there Play-Doh, crayons? Are there little plays, little skits? Like what would someone be entitled to experience there? So we do a focus on music, musical experiences, artistic play. Uh, that's something that I found to be very important um, in this child age group. And uh, when I was actually looking for daycare for my daughter after my mom had retired, uh, I noticed that in some of the daycares they were lacking uh, music and artistic play and I felt like I needed to do uh, a better program that focused a lot on uh, music and art. Uh, we have a STEAM and M program which is uh, STEM oh, learning. So yes. STEM learning with uh, a music and an art focus. And uh, we do uh, making art to Mozart. We do building <laughs> blocks to Bach. So I thought it was something uh, fun that I could give uh, to the, you know to the children. And, and do any of you sing, Gabriella? Did you start out as a performer? Uh, actually, no. My okay. my daughter sings. Uh, okay. Stephanie. I uh, graduated from the uh, high school of the arts in Nassau at Nassau Bosies. Um, so I've always loved music. Um, and then I went on to do a uh, vocal performance at Hofstra. And then later on, I received my double masters in um, childhood and special education. What is your favorite go-to circle time song? Oh, like if I said, if yes. I put you on the spot right now, mm -hmm. what is it we're singing? I wanna know. 
Do you want me to sing it? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> they even teach me. I like to sing too. Sure. Okay. Or maybe I already know it. Tell me what do we do? <laughs> okay. Okay. Good morning to you. And how do you do? We're here in our places with bright smiling faces. And this is the way we start a new day. Good morning, good morning to you. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> my daughter, my son is 30-ish, 32. My daughter, Elise, is going to be 30 this year. Then I have a son who's 17. The other day, I was visiting her in her house in Nashville, and she her bedroom's upstairs. And so all of a sudden, she breaks out, and she goes, up we go to the very tippy top, the very tippy top, the very tippy top. Up we go to the very tippy top. Don't fall down. I was laughing hysterically because I used to sing that to them as children. Oh, like and so now here at 30 years old, yeah. she's going up to the steps of her bedroom and all of a sudden we're breaking out in song. We break out in song quite a lot in my family. So continued success to you, happiness you. and joy. Um, and for all that you're doing on behalf of the youth, we, we thank you sincerely for thank our you. community. And I know that you also take questions and calls for other people that want to set up a Kids World 2 in their community. Yes. So thank you for that. Uh, you. Stay tuned for more. We would love to hear what your favorite childhood songs were or the ways that you implement uh, the arts in your everyday life. So thank you for watching.